the hell going on? Turn on TikTok. In the gym? Ah, you funny! Funny, funny girl. Funny girl, ladies and gentlemen. We have company. Wow. A lot of company. A lot? I'm outside as a movie. How you doing? I'm good. Are you doing? I'm good. Look, I'm lit, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know right now I'm lit. Um, I'm off the Henny right now. I'm off the Hen dog, but. I haven't posted for y'all in forever, forever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what was going on, bro. I was in a stage of like anxiety, depression, a lot of things was going on, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people talking about my name and Brie name on the internet, you feel me? And I basically wanted to make this video because I miss y'all. I miss y'all and there's some things I want to say, you know what I'm saying, at the same time. But it's like I more of miss y'all and I haven't posted in a month now. And I kind of feel bad because I haven't posted on a month on my Rugrat channel, but on my main channel, Devon J, I haven't posted in three months, you feel me? So I feel kind of like, I feel terrible like that, and I feel lost. I feel like, how can I even come back to my main channel without them being mad at me, you feel me? Or how can I come back to my main channel? What's the best way to come back to my main channel, you feel me? Like, I can't just post any video. I can't just do that. You know what I'm saying? So I've been stressing about coming back, bro. Stressing about ways to come back. Stressing about how to come back. And I just figured out I'm just going to make a video, you feel me? I'm just going to make a video. In my natural state, bro. Well, I'm not in my natural state. I'm off the Henny. But in my natural, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to pick up the camera and I'm just going to record you, feel me? So I'm going to do it right now, bro. I think this is the best day. Um, so look. When, you're, when your relationship, bro, when, when your relationship on social media is different. It's like, I feel like now in this generation, social media is like the devil, you feel me? That's what I honestly feel like, you know what I'm saying? Because... Social media can take control of your life in a bad way, you feel me? It's, it's full of badness and it's like, sometimes you gotta give your, your life a break from social media, you know what I'm saying? Which is what I did, you feel me? I gave my life a break from social media and I feel like I'm better and I feel like I'm more ready to come back now, you feel me? I let people say what they had to say about me, but it's like, I didn't speak up, you know what I'm saying? I didn't speak up, I just let it be sad, I just let people get their views off my name, off of Bree's name, shit like that. First, I'm gonna say this, when, you, when, when your life on social media, it, it's different like I'm, I'm part of this I'm happy for this I'm happy my life on social media you know what I'm saying I signed up for this Bree signed up for this we all signed up for this but it's, cer it's certain things that people like people will title things people will put things out there in the wrong way you know what I'm saying Bree never cheated on me you know what I'm saying I never cheated on her that's things we gotta get out there because that's facts that's out there that's, that's not true also I never knew I would get this far feel me I never knew I would get this far with social media I never knew like like at this point, any live, I can go live on my secondary page. I can do anything. It's like it gets posted now. It gets posted for views. And I'm, I never knew like I was this, how do I say this? I never knew I was this fucking, fucking known or something. I don't know what it is, but it's like we're known to the point where shit gets posted. Shit gets fucking said about us. Motherfuckers use our names for views. Motherfuckers use us for this, 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 and that. And it's, it's out of hand at this point. You know what I'm saying? We stay quiet and we let it happen. You feel me? And it's like, y'all judge us for everything we do. Like, y'all don't go through the same shit, you feel me? Like, y'all relationships not just as fucking crazy. Like, y'all not on the same bullshit, you feel me? And y'all look at us differently. And it's crazy. It's just our shit is out there in the public, you know what I'm saying? But y'all do this shit behind closed fucking doors. <laughs> y'all do this shit behind closed doors where nobody can see this shit. Nobody can, can fucking judge y'all at. And then y'all want to come at us because our shit is public. And our shit is on the internet, you feel me? And it's like, we got a lot of fans that love us, a lot of fans that know the truth, a lot of fans that know the truth about me, the truth about Bree, know the truth that we will always be good people and we are good people. But the internet can make you look any type of way. It's the internet, bro. This, this is that generation. This is the generation of, of internet, the generation of online shit. Like, this is that generation, you feel me? And at this point, I just feel like I want to use my voice. I want to use my fans. I want to use my platform. And I want to let it be known that it's, it's normal, bro. Everything that we go through over here is normal. And at this point, I don't want nobody to know my relationship. I don't want nobody to know if I'm single. I don't want nobody to know if I'm, if I'm with Brie. I don't 
with nobody from not with she's on the TikTok. What the hell going on? She's on the TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. Her, her TikTok is Bree Chief. My TikTok is Devon J. Follow us. I just hit 700k. I'm hype as shit. This is what y'all be doing. See, this is the generation of internet, bro. This is the generation of TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. This is the generation of your life being posted on the internet everywhere. You feel me? You see me? Like, this is what she's doing right now. This is finna be posted all over TikTok. And everyone's gonna be able to see what she's doing right now. Because that's how easy life is. We can see what everyone's doing just because of a phone. You feel me? Look at her. Look at that shit. Look at that. Look at that. And it's like, I don't want to be on bad. How can I be on bad terms with, a, with, with that? How can I be on, oh my God. How can I be on bad terms with a booty like that and a face like that? You feel me? Another thing I want to talk about, y'all. I've been... I've been learning my enemies in life, bro. And I'm going to say that weed is one of my enemies. Y'all, last time I was vlogging every day for y'all, the vacations, the everything. That was when I finally decided to be sober. I finally decided to stay sober. And I, I decided to just be sober and just drink Henny, you feel me? Just, just be on some, some Henny shit, you feel me? But anytime I go back to smoking weed, anytime I go back to smoking marijuana, it throws me off of my game. And I want to I wanna put y'all aware of that too because I, I feel as though like... I never knew that marijuana would do this to me. Like, the shit, this shit is fucking toxic. But marijuana is toxic. Like, marijuana is, it's toxic, bro. And I say it's toxic because it makes you comfortable with whatever you're doing. Like, if you're chilling, if you're relaxing, it'll make you comfortable, you feel me? And I feel like I got too comfortable, bro. And I just, time been going so fucking fast, bro. Time been just, just, just fucking flying by my fucking eyes, bro. And it's like, once I seen I didn't post in a month on my Rugrats channel, I'm like, damn, like, how the fuck is that possible? How is that possible? Like, I dedicated myself to never, 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 never going to take one day off. I dedicated, take, get dedicated my whole self to like, bro, never take one day off from this shit. You feel me? Like, you work so hard to get me right now, never take one day off. You feel me? And I took over a month off. Like, this shit is just mind-boggling to me, but at the same time, it's like, life is uncontrollable, bro. If I can go back two weeks and post, I will go back two weeks and post, but life is uncontrollable. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything happens for a reason. I'm learning, I'm learning that I can't stop things. I can't control things. I can't control how I feel. I can't control anger. I can't control the way life works, you feel me? And I feel like I've been in the, I've been in the bad state, honestly. And I just, I'm glad to feel happy now. I'm glad to be happy. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to feel good, bro. I'm glad to be like back with y'all because there's a lot of y'all that really love me. There's a lot of y'all that really love Bree. That's all y'all that really love like our journey and like the start of all this shit and at this point it's it, it it's kind of coming to an end like it is something coming to an end like this this relationship like it's just uh it's a lot of stuff coming to an end bro like for now on me and Bri are just friends bro you know what i'm saying like i don't know if i want y'all to know what's going on on the media all the time everybody know my relationship status and stuff like that because it it, it creates a toxic lifestyle you feel me? I feel like I'm too young to be stressing the way I do and shit like that. And I got too much. Like I got a, I got a beautiful life, a beautiful house, and things like that. And I just feel like I stress damn too damn much, bro. I'm too young, I'm too young to be stressing this, this much. You know what I'm saying? My mental space. I gotta get shit right. You feel me? I'm off the henny. I'm gonna tell you how the fuck it is. Okay, bad as shit. You think I can leave this right now? I'm gonna say this. I will continue to do videos with Bree. You know what I'm saying? If Bree needs me for videos, she can use me for video for videos. You feel me? Um. If I need her for videos, I guess she'll use me for videos. Brie is mine, you know what I'm saying? My hers. <laughs> I don't know. You feel me? She is mine, but am I hers? I don't know. All I know is I'm just living right now. I know that I think if we friends, like, shit'll go better, shit'll go smoother. I think that y'all won't be able to always send her things and start arguments and fights because y'all send her a lot of things all the time. And it's like, this shit is just crazy, bro. Like, if I could really break this shit down, like, people want to start YouTube all the time. I'm like, bro, this shit is deeper than just starting YouTube. It's deeper than just you wanting fame or you wanting clout. Like, bro, this is a lifestyle. This is a family you build. Like, you got people that really start to look up to you. It's like, once they look up to you, it becomes different because then you got to work harder. Then you got to 
provide for them what they want. It's like it starts off as fun, but then once you get that, it starts off as fun, but then once you get that fan base, once you get that support, that family, it becomes a job. So it's like, damn, I gotta, I gotta make these niggas happy. I gotta provide for these niggas. I gotta post for these niggas. Like, it just becomes more than what you would think it is. But I appreciate it to the most. I love the journey. I love, I love the plan. This is everything is God's work, bro. Anything I go through, anything, everything, bro. God's plan. Bree, what you doing? Come here. What you it's doing? The seat is hot. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> now I'm sweating because of that TikTok. What you doing? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Making TikToks. You good? Mm -hmm. I heard you say to them. Just told them how our, our, our relationship is public. You feel me? Because we in the sun or we not in the sun? We are. It looks good right there. You look good? Mm -hmm. I just told them how our relationship is public and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I just saw them like shit on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not posting what I'm in. I'm not posting them in a relationship. They gonna have to guess for real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling me friends. And you gonna use me for videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm here if you need me and shit. You know what I'm saying? I told them you gonna do videos with me if you need me and shit. You know what I'm saying? With the woo, like with the with the woo. And um, yeah. Don't you want some back shots? I ain't even no back shots anywhere around there. We're not together, so no. Huh? I can't get no backwards though. Sorry. That's a privilege. Hold the camera. Good. And all you motherfuckers that been under my photo saying dumbass shit, I blocked every last one of you and I deleted you off my fucking shit. So I'm just gonna remind you guys, watch what the hell you say. All right. I'm gonna take a shot. Listen, I got my swim trunks on. My swim trunks J in the fucking building, my nigga. The fuck is you talking about? For my dead homies. For my dead homies, my nigga. For my dead homies, my nigga. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? And I'm back, bro. I'm back active. I let, I let these YouTube niggas get their little get their little, their little uh, fans and get their little views and get their little shit. Fuck that. Rugrat back, nigga. Rugrat gang family. Rugrat back. Rugrat free back. You know what I'm saying? We finna get this money. We finna run it up. Y'all can keep talking shit on the net. Y'all can keep creating false stories, creating this story, rewording things. Y'all can keep doing what the fuck y'all want. But I'm gonna take this shot for y'all right here. Because you know what? I know I got a bunch of haters. People don't want to see me win. Wait, before you take that shot, while they on the internet talking all that crazy, let's show them where, where you at. This is where we at. Uh-huh. So go ahead. Damn, we really here, ain't we? We out here. Oh, shit. We in the top. God, damn, we left at the top. I'm drunk as shit. I don't even know what it is. Stop. Showing them too much. You're doing too much. You're showing them too much. Sorry. And we just friends. You're doing too much. Well, I am single, so I can't I show it off now? No, you can't. Not on my. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Listen, I love y'all, right, guys? We taking this shit to the fucking moon, my nigga. Motherfuckers know we was going to lose. Motherfuckers counted us out. That's what. <laughs> we like that shit. We like being counted out, right, guys? You know what I'm saying? We've been the underdogs since the beginning. We're going we gonna to stay there. That's what we like. We don't want to be up top. We want to stay the underdog. We want to be there. You feel me? Penny shots for the fucking game. PS5 giveaway, I'm giving away five PS fucking fives. I'm spending my whole check on PS fives this month. Spend my whole fucking check on PS fives. Chaser me, I love y'all. How do I even look? Yeah, no, it's blurry. Bad. The camera stopped for a second too. I think it's overheating. All right, go ahead. Now uh, it's clear. Mm, now it Listen, is. Listen, y'all. family, we back. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Thumbs up. I'm giving away a PS5. I'm gonna look at whoever like, whoever subscribe. I'm giving away five PS5s. Honestly, swear to God, five PS5s. 
All you gotta do is like, subscribe, drop a comment, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know that you're still with me. I love y'all, bro. Honest, I'm gonna read y'all comments. Whoever still with us is, is, is getting that treatment. Y'all can't never, I got treatment. Y'all getting blessed, bro. Y'all getting blessed by me. No cat. Feel me? If I DM you, ask me for your address for the PS5, send it to me. Don't think I'm trying to come rob you. Just send it to me. I love y'all, bro. Make sure you subscribe. Um, relationships is, our relationship is public. So y'all gonna see what y'all see. Just just don't turn against us. You feel me? It's a journey. It's a lifestyle. Y'all know me, y'all know Bree, y'all know us. You feel me? But just just stop. If anybody talk to talk about us for now on, fuck it. Reply, you know what I'm saying? Defend us. Let's be a family for real. Don't talk too damn much. Alright, I like that.